Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. I am here with my first update, <laughs> second month, first update for my whole collection polish project. Project, polish, project, polish, project, polish. Whatever. I'm doing this in collaboration with a bunch of other nail polish channels. Amanda, the nail polish hound, is organizing this. Thank you so much, Amanda. And then all the information will be listed in the description box as well as the participants. Everyone is doing updates on their own time. I happened to have my polishes worn in a month, so that's what I'm updating. But, you know, I might not always do it in a month. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna choose random polishes and wear them from our collection. If you have a normal size nail polish collection, the goal would be to go through all of your polishes in a year and use them at least once. And then if you're me, you're just using older polishes, okay? So I'm going to talk about the polishes that I wore and then I'm going to, I already chose the new ones, and I will insert pictures or like live swatches of them versus you looking at the polishes up here because you can't really see that anyway. So um, we're going to get to the update. Um, I actually wore the first five in a Skittles manicure. That is one of my favorite ways to wear these polishes because I, A, love Skittles manicures, and B, I can tell if I'm going to like a polish if it's on one nail or not, you know? I don't need a full manicure to determine if I like the color or the formula or whatever. The first five being Zoya Brett, 90 Lacquer, December 6, 2016. Literary Lacquers, Mysterious, Irrevocable, Sacred, Nailtopia, Stay Inspired, and then Great Lakes Lacquer, I Left My Heart at Houghton. I love all of these. This was a very wintry Skittles manicure. I was a big fan of how this color combination looked. It was like slightly cool purples and blues. I loved this. I'm keeping all of these polishes. That's probably not what you want to hear, but I... I am who I am. So I'm keeping all of these polishes. Those are the first five polishes that I wore and I forgot how beautiful Brett is and I forgot how beautiful Literary Lacquers was. Oh, it's just so pretty. The next polish I wore with a topper that wasn't in the project, but it's okay. Uh, and that would be Salon Perfect Birthday Cake. I loved this collection, this Dip and Dots collection that Salon Perfect release. And I knew that I was going to enjoy wearing this color. It's very bright, it's pink, it's very vivacious, and I wanted that in January because it's pretty gray usually in January um, in Michigan. So I wanted something bright, and this definitely did the trick. I did wear a topper over this, the Orly dot dot dot, but I'm pretty sure I have a picture of just the polish and not just the polish and topper combo. Uh, the next two polishes I wore in a trio, but that would be China Glaze Boundary of Memory, Gorgeous Glitter, and then Moonshine Manny Get a Room with Santa's. This is a really pretty green uh, jelly with uh, green shimmer and glitters. Um, I did wear the Moonshine Manny over a different polish, um, and the picture I took is terrible because I forgot to take a picture that I, I painted it when it was all fresh and pretty, and then... Um, everything chips on me immediately so by the next day there was chipping so the picture is not great okay but I really liked this combination I kind of wanted it to look like a tree that's what I was going for like the, like the brown on the bottom and the tree. I don't know why but I remember specifically thinking I want this to look like a tree <laughs> I'm keeping those And then the last two polishes are what I'm currently wearing, but it's all chipped, so I'm not going to let you get super close because I don't take care of my nails. I'm that person that uses their nails like tools instead of treating them like jewels. I am who I am, okay? I think I've said that twice already, and I don't know why. So that would be Glisten and Glow Pink Carbera Daisy. I love this pink and black combination. Carbera Daisies are... One of my favorite flowers, well, daisies in general, but I love Gerbera daisies. They just look so cheerful, and I will always love pink and black together. It is just the most, like, girly rock star thing ever to me. I love it. And then I'm wearing a Morgan Taylor. I totally paused in combination with this. I feel like these don't go as well as I was hoping they would in my head. Um, I, don't, I don't dislike either of the polishes. I just don't really know that I love them together. Um, but I totally paused is an amazing color. The formula is 
delicious. I just think that I probably should have worn them separately. I don't hate them together. I've kept it on for days, so I clearly don't hate them together, but you know, it's not like my absolute favorite color combo. So I wore all 10 polishes and now we have 10 new polishes that we get to use and I'm very excited. I'm gonna insert like a swatch on a nail wheel. And these are just in the order that they were chosen. So we have another literary lacquers, which is kind of funny because I don't own a lot of those, but it's fine. I do love them. So this is Mirror of Galadriel. This is one of the Lord of the Rings inspired polishes. It's a beautiful silver glitter holographic polish. I I haven't, I haven't worn this in years, so I'm pretty excited for this one. Uh, next we have China Glaze Green with Jealousy. I can not off the top of my head think of what this looks like. I'm assuming it's green, which I love, but I couldn't tell you what else is happening in it. Next we have Pampered Polish Bring Back What Once Was Mine. This is one of her Tangled inspired polishes. She does a lot of Disney inspired uh, nail polishes and I love Tangled. It's, it's one of my favorite Disney movies. I love it so much. So I wanted to get this one and it's a really pretty like, fuchsia purple. Next we have another Moonshine Manny. When was the last time I overdid anything? This is a Christmas polish but you can wear Christmas polishes year round and this is a super glitter like glitter jelly bomb if I'm remembering correctly. Um, we have another Great Lakes Lacquer and this is another Lord of the Rings inspired polish and this is called To the King. I believe this is a Hella Handmade Creations polish. So I have to see, I can't remember the exact colors of this one off the top of my head but I'm curious to see how these two Lord of the Rings polishes will work together. Maybe I'll just get out a whole bunch of other Lord of the Rings polishes and do a whole Lord of the Rings Thing. You know, I love it. I'm really excited for that. We have a polish from Lindby Designs. This is the Mighty Mac, one of her Michigan nail polishes. Lindby Designs is a Michigan indie, and I love Michigan. I love Michigan. I love the Michigan nail polishes. Oh, and we have a couple Michigan indies in this round, so that's always fun. I don't pull out. My, I don't really pull out any of my old nail polishes. That's why I love this project so much. Next, we have one from Alchemy Lacquers, and this was. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this one. It's Oleacea is what I want to say, but I just feel like that's wrong. This is from the Olive Polish Facebook group. Wait, am I still in that Facebook group? I haven't seen anything in a long time. I should probably check. I probably missed out on so many beautiful things. Uh, this is completely gorgeous. You can't find it anymore. I'm sorry. Next we have an Orly. <laughs> this is Sea Girl. Have you seen anyone wear Sea Girl in the last like eight years? No, probably not. I totally forgot about this polish until like I was looking through my spreadsheet for the correlating numbers and I thought, oh my gosh, I haven't thought about Sea Girl in forever. So that will be really fun. That's a beautiful brown shimmer if I'm remembering correctly. And then we have a rogue lacquer. This is Cactus Flower, one of her Wilds of Arizona polishes. I love her flaky, um, they like flaky jellies and they're inspired by Arizona and they're all beautiful. And then we have a graceful lacquer, which there seems to be a graceful lacquer chosen so often and I don't even own that many. It's just so funny. And this is the Subsect. This is um, a Girl Gilmore Girls inspired polish. I cannot think of the, the color of this at this point. But it'll be a surprise. So I'm curious to see how all of these, how any of these will go together because that is one thing that I like doing with this project is finding colors that will go together obviously and maybe not so obviously. I think that's fun. I love this project. I love it. All you have to do to get me to wear my old nail polish is just make it a project apparently. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are doing this project either in collaboration with the group or following along on your own and kind of doing your own version. I'd love to know how your progress is going and, you know, tag me in any of the pictures of the project, pop, whole collection project manicures that you do. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.